Students in Denison, Iowa say they want to see action from the school district. It all stems from allegations that a teacher said the N word multiple times in a classroom. This morning, students who say they've had enough walked out. Three News Now reporter Sydney Gray went to Denison and has the story. They don't do anything about it. That's why they're all mad. You know, that's why I'm mad. There's nothing ever done about it. Freshman Bolnice Rifen says events leading up to this student protest have frustrated her classmates for a while. We're hoping to have our voices heard and to have Ms. Holt out of here. Students say they're upset with American history teacher Crystal Holt. They say she used the N-word during a history lesson about the death penalty. She explained her use of the word to a local radio station in an interview that was shared by her husband, Iowa State Representative Stephen Holt, on Facebook. The case deals with racism, and I asked why they put hate crimes on their board, and one of the students said, because in the reading it says he used pejorative terms. And another student in that group said, what does pejorative mean? And I said, it means derogatory. And the student said, what does derogatory mean? And I said, it means terms that are not nice to race and continued trying to explain that. And I said he used the N-word and then I said he used the word. Students say they don't think she needed to use it, that they understood without the word. I get like, oh, it was like context, context, but you could have said, said the N-word. You didn't have to say with a hard E-R. Students from all grades walked out in protest of the situation. They say this isn't the first time it's happened. All I've known is that she has said this racial slur back in the past and in a few months, like she's repeated herself several for several years. She has done this multiple times in multiple different places. Anna Navarro was one of the first to walk out. It's 2019, almost 2020. We should have gotten rid of this a while ago. It, and it just keeps happening. We don't want that in the U.S. Some want Holt gone. She should be fired because she has no right to say that. The school's principal and superintendent eventually came out and spoke with students. Let's, let's go find a time that we can talk and let's uh, start the healing process and start moving us forward. Rifen says the word hurts. You know, you feel really small whenever you're here because you're just, you know, that one black girl in the class. You know, I can say the N-word to you, you know? <laughs> because you're the only black girl. Let me say the N-word to you. So it makes me feel great, you know? Yeah. There's so many people willing to stand up for it. But despite the division the word creates, Rifen says her classmates' support empowered her. I feel, like, inspired, you know? You know? I feel like I can finally, like, stand up to, like, stand up for myself. In Denison, Iowa, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now. The principal declined to comment, but the superintendent tells us they're investigating the situation. Denison School Board has its typically scheduled meeting. We'll have more on that at 10 tonight.